If I were a shark, I think I would be a whale shark. They love the tropics, great sense of style, and they're eating all the time. Goals. I've kind of been bitten by a, a, a white shark before. It was a, a 2.5 meter male shark. Um, and my pinky slammed into its, its jaw on accident and I actually stuck my pinky flesh straight onto its tooth. Um, but what I'd usually leave out is that it was a, a dead jaw and I was working on it in a museum. So it's less of a cool story if you know the whole picture. I became a behavioral ecologist because I'm fascinated with how animals interact with each other and how they interact with their ecosystems. So for me, behavioral ecology was a perfect fit. I look into how animals interact with each other and then how those animals can have impacts on their ecosystems. So specifically for me, I study predators. And predators impact their ecosystems in kind of two ways directly because they take out other animals by eating them and then indirectly by being present they can have huge impacts on the ecosystem because of the fear that they can cause. One of the things I'm really excited about for this mission is that we don't really think about sharks as being necessarily social animals that would communicate between each other. But the more research that goes into white sharks specifically, the more that we understand them to be pretty social things. They hang out in pairs, they potentially might be hunting with each other as well. There's a whole kind of untapped knowledge gap of information when it comes to how white sharks might be interacting with each other. So with this study, using sound, similar to the way that people have looked at how whales use sound, we're gonna see if white sharks also use sound to talk to each other. I have so many great sharky stories, but one of my favorite ones was from Fiji and diving with the bull sharks there and just hearing them crunching and cracking down on the bones as they were eating and also getting the feeling that they were definitely scanning me and paying attention to me and making sure that I was paying attention to them. It was a really incredible experience. I was so lucky to share the water with them. White sharks are, I think, one of the most fascinating shark species for a really good reason. They're cold water animals. They have uh, physiologically really advanced bodies to make them be super fast predators, even in really cold water. Uh, they have constantly rotating teeth that come up through their jaw. They, they never have a cracked tooth for too long. That's the same for all sharks. White sharks are also just incredibly huge and they hunt massive prey, not just seals, but they'll go after dolphins, they'll go after whales, and then the really, really large ones will hunt squid, just like sperm whales do. There's so much we don't know about them once they get to that size. The more we can understand about the behavior of sharks, the more that we can understand their significance to the ecosystems that they occupy, and also kind of long-term, the more that we understand about white sharks and their behaviors inshore, the more that we can better mitigate human and white shark interactions as well. So we have a better picture of when white sharks are more present inshore, what they're doing there, um, times that we can maybe warn folks and almost create a shark forecast and help people avoid overlapping with sharks too much. The obvious answer of best shark movie of all time is, you know, obviously Jaws, but I'm also a huge fan of ridiculously bad shark movies, so Sharktopus, is right up there at the top.